Hello my soccer universe. Well, while I was looking at the newly released shirts for the 23-24 season, there were a few ones from Kappa that actually stood out. And I went to the Kappa store because I saw, yeah, one of those is the replica version is very reasonably priced and I might as well get it. And then half an hour later, I had ordered two jerseys. None of which was the one that I actually initially tended to one wanted to get, but both are from 22-23 season and both were kind of a little bit better than the one that I was looking at. If you order from Kappa, make an account, get 10% off on your first order. It's a no-brainer. And there we go. So let's open this up. What I have to say, I'm a little bit puzzled. It arrived. There should be two shirts in here. It doesn't feel like it. I hope they didn't make a mistake. So I really, really have to see this now. I think this one I can actually open without my scissors. And there really is only one shirt in here. Okay, so I did count the kappa. Lo and behold, the two jerseys are shipped from two different warehouses. So I'm getting two different packages and what's even more interesting is that they're shipping at a different time so um, while I have received already one the other one is expected to come two days later so I'm not gonna make a double unpacking in one video I'm gonna make only one and then we'll do the other one a little bit later the more you know but let's take this shirt out as I said I was actually thinking about getting the current one but then I saw that the last season's one which I really liked was actually slightly cheaper and according to my wife looking even better and I get the combat version from it I guess you can already take a wild guess which one this is it's of course Fiorentina yes I really like the jersey with the flowers Except maybe the sleeves I would have preferred in white, but I have to say this one, I had my eyes on it for the entirety of the last season. I said, that's a Fiorentina jersey I really would like to have. And now it's also one with the, I have now three Fiorentina uh, jerseys and all have three different logos. And the best thing is that this is the combat fit version. So that's the match version, which I really, really, really like. So this says here on the tags, the tags of course attached here and it says skin fit. So that's why I went for a slightly larger size with triple XL. Yeah, I want to wear it and I don't want to look like a sausage in that one. Uh, gorgeous. I find this is such a such a strong look and yeah it had, the material has also a very interesting texture overall. I'm a little bit annoyed that the one tag is a little bit bent. Uh, rubberized logo, as is typically for Kappa. It's a gorgeous shirt. It's a gorgeous shirt. Um, I'm not sure if you see this really uh, going through, but the, uh, it has quite the texture on it, uh, which is also quite interesting. Here you go, all my Fiorentina jerseys actually in one video and I'm quite pleased with that. Fiorentina jerseys are becoming a little bit of a guilty pleasure of mine. I always liked Fiorentina, although, you know, in Italy there's only one team that I really, really support. But, you know, Fiorentina was always a team that I did enjoy. Now, um, when I look at this, I have now, you know, a home with the old crest. I have the third from the 21-22 season with the 80s crest and now I have the one with the new crest. I have to say ever since they have Mediacom as a sponsor, ever Rocco Comiso took over, I think their jerseys look even better, although the one with Folletto does, uh, doesn't look bad either. Uh, also this one of course is a uh, replica version that I bought in Florence. This one is the cheap Kappa uh, uh, shirt, the yellow one. Which is a double XL, and you see next to the triple XL uh, skin fit, size wise, they compare actually quite well, I would say. But let's go to the white jer uh, jer jersey. As I said, it has the new crest, it has also on the inside of the collar a few lilies in purple, and then there's one in red, which, which I think is a really nice detail. Uh, it says on the back, uh, on the purple patch, play to be different. 
But to me, the standard feature of this one is, of course, the really strong V in two shades of purple, which, which I think make it stand out even more. And what I like even uh, more is that it actually reflects the angles from the crest really, really nicely. And the crest also has the little V. I wonder, the one thing that I probably would have liked is to really go out bold and switch the sponsor and the crest and make the crest centralized and even bigger. I think that's the one way that it could do it. Of course, in that season, Fiorentina made it all the way to the Europa Conference League final, losing out against West Ham, although I would argue they were the better team in there. But in that jersey, they got some quite um, prominent wins as well, namely the one in Basel in the semi-final. Any case, please let, let me know what you think about this Fiorentina jersey and the entire collection. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.